in Espanol. So now I will switch into English. And before we start, I would like to ask you some questions. First of all, how many of you actually are programmers that are coming to decode it in order to see new, uh, new ideas and to deploy your D apps here? Please raise your hand. One, two, ah, wow, we have several. That's good. That's good. But another question. Whom of you is actually coming here more because you like the philosophy of the whole idea of the Polkadot and Kusama ecosystem? Please raise your hands. Wow, great. So I'm assuming that the last ones that didn't raise your hand, they're just coming here to know which project will make X10 the next year. Wow, the conference is not for you guys. Sorry, it's more about philosophy. But OK, another last question for each one of you. Who do you have substrate addresses? Kusama, Polkadot, doesn't matter. Raise your hands. That's great. We have actually a present for you at the end of this presentation. You will have to use that. So let's start. My name is Pavel Salas. I'm the chief ecosystem officer of Gear. And actually, I'm in charge of all the communications, uh, marketing part, but also about workshops and the academy that we will be launching soon. So what is Gear? Actually, Gear is a pro uh, Gear protocol is something a set of rules and applications that will allow you to easily put any program and run it into the blockchain space. Gear, we are thinking about us as something that is really reliable, that can work all the time without any problems, it's simple and will work forever. Yes, we think that we can be this instrument for you to go and join the blockchain space. Gear actually is based on three pillars. First of all, is the actor model. Second, is WASM, a web assembly virtual machine. And the third one is persistent memory. So the actor model, we bring something new into the blockchain space. Our idea was to use something that is working and is really reliable in the Web2 space, which actually is used for parallel computing communication, high load, and we bring it into the blockchain. So we start in our protocol, each program, bridge, uh, idea, smart contract, whatever is put in inside, is actually used and considered as an actor. And each actor communicates uh, uh, to another actor by messaging. This allows to use asynchronous messages between these different actors, which actually increases speed a lot. And we will be the first Polkadot protocol that would be using that. The second, WASM, WebAssembly Virtual Machine. So actually, it's something on which Polkadot also is based. It was developed by big companies such as Google, Apple, Mozilla. It was used in the beginning for the web browsers. But then, the guys from Parity found that it's really useful for the blockchain space. And then, Actually, our CEO and founder, one of the first developers of Parity, who is actually advocating about WASM there and about coding on Rust, saw that there is a lack on, of something in the whole ecosystem is bringing the advanced and new technology into the space. And then here's how gear arrives actually and why we are bringing something that would be unique to this space. And then the third and most important thing is the persistent memory. Not most important, but actually the third pillar. Um, if we talk about the actor model and the WASM that allows us to manage how programs actually communicate between each other in our protocol, the persistent memory allows us to actually map and t take part of the complexity and map the running programs in a way similar to operating system uh, idea like primitives. We also can manage the memory and allow in the way that actually we, you just need to load the needed pages of information and the store it there. You don't need to load all the legacy of the programs. Plus, an additional thing that we are actually using there as our basic first class syscalls is that we can actually manage the information there. So. Once we are using all these three pillars and building the protocol, we will deploy it into three different networks. First of all, the standalone network that will be more like a test net for everybody to play around and see how it works. Second, obvious, the Kusama network. 
and third, the Polkadot standalone network. Now we practically finalized it completely. It's now under the third party audit and we're expecting to finalize it in the end of this summer. It not depends on us, we're still waiting what they can do, but we hope that that will happen. At the same moment, uh, we also are thinking to launch already once the audit is finished. So we will be launching this test net for everybody of you, mostly sure, at the end of summer, beginning of September. What would be our standalone test net? First of all, it would be the fastest and truly decentralized layer one solution. It will give you the option and the utility that has, for example, Solana or Near, will bring you practically the native speed thanks to Wasm. So we will be the fastest possible layer one with the real normal consensus as proof of stake that actually allows you decentralization. Plus, uh, we will have a lot of validators. Now, for example, if you will check our stats, we have more than uh, practically 2,000 no uh, node validators already. And when we launch the testnet, we're pretty sure we'll migrate a lot of them there. We'll have stable and upgradable network, thanks to Substrate, and obviously, little to no governments. Why we choose Polkadot and Kusama? I don't think I have to sell you now here why Polkadot is great, but still, I would like to, to mention several important features. First of all, the permissionless interoperability with other blockchains, meaning that once we become a parachain, we can easily talk to any other parachain inside the network and the whole ecosystem. And that means that any person that deploys his application on us will have the access to the whole and entire ecosystem in an easy and fast way. Second, shared security. It was, is one of the most important things. Actually, when somebody compares the Polkadot ecosystem or the .sama ecosystem with Cosmos, the main difference with them is that in the Cosmos they don't have the, the shared security, and actually when you don't have it, the, less, uh, the security of the whole network becomes to rely on the less secured entity. So here on the Polkadot is totally the other way. Obviously the block finality is quite fast. Rattlelix pining development ecosystem thanks to Substrate, you can easily deploy your blockchain like in several steps. And plus, thanks to Gear, we hope that you will be easily deploying any of the app in seconds and minutes. Scaling adoption. This is another thing on which we are really working now to bring more people into the Web3 ecosystem. Because now, a lot of projects, what they do is they're fighting for each developer to bring their, and the developers are rolling from one project to another. So we decided to take a different approach. As the language, the main language used to deploy the smart contracts is actually Rust, and we have just 18K monthly active blockchain developers, but already 2.2 million Rust developers, and thanks to that, 20 million developers that actually works on languages that are wasm compatible, which also helps us to bring them inside. So the main language for now to write smart contracts on gear is actually Rust, as I told you before. But we built a lot of templates. So if you will go and visit our wiki, you will see more than 10 for now templates, and they're uploading each month more and more, on which you can easily deploy your the app, for example, we have a video where a person from scratch is deploying his DAO for nine minutes. We have an integration with one of our partners called Zenlink. They used our template of year C20 token and they deployed their smart contract, I think, in five minutes. So it's really easy. What we want to do is we want to give you like a lot of Lego uh, pieces on which you can start building on top of them and construct something amazing and new and big for the whole ecosystem. But we are first, what is Gear? Gear is not just a protocol. Gear are the amazing people that stands behind the whole idea. We like the decentralization. We like this concept. We are, more, we are around 40 people working in different locations. We have people in Mexico. We have actually people uh, in, in Georgia. We have people in Turkey. We have people in UK. We have people in Spain. We have people in China. So it's people that actually collaborate with us. And we think that this is the best way how you can really build something. 
And what we additionally are doing, we are running now a lot of workshops all over the world talking about how we can bring more people to the ecosystem. We are partnering with different universities on which we are giving them a two hours workshop, 30 minutes conversation, an hour and a half coding, which they see how they can deploy their own smart contract in different ways. We mainly do something like the centralized Twitter. And then these people can enter into something new that we're building now, into the academy. This academy will help you to go step by step the whole knowledge that we actually accumulated to show our own ecosystem developers how you can build code on us is actually put in there so that people passing this academy can actually start deploying their smart contracts, their own programs, and make bigger and bigger the .sama ecosystem. Here, you can actually check our links, everything that you want from, uh, from our site. The contract templates will go to other wiki, the ones that I told you that could be help you easily to deploy something and work with that. The GitHub, that's totally open sourced and open, everything that you can see. Our Twitter, where you can find new ideas and what's happening with us. Actually, we're organizing a meetup on Friday here in Palermo. Will be some wine and, uh, and actually talk a little bit more about gear. Then we'll have our Discord, which actually will allow you to see and talk to us and to our team because all our development team in real time is actually talking there about what is happening and how they want to work on that. And the present that I told you, everybody, we presented an NFT for each one who is here in the coded. You just need to scan. This, this is actually a reward, a bot reward. When you scan it, you will be able to go to Telegram and then step by step it will show you how actually you can get your NFT. We also have several t-shirts made for here. They're actually here after the presentation. You can easily come and grab the ones that you want. It's for you. We like the idea to share things with the community and this is what we're doing. So now I will be practically finalizing the speech and if you have any questions, I will really love and appreciate to answer them. So, please, here are my contacts. Oh, let's me, let me must be state it here, sorry. For, you can have a little bit more of the NFTs. And if you have any questions, just please raise your hand and the person with the mic will help you and come there and ask the questions. So everybody will hear. So thanks a lot, guys. It was a pleasure. So, is there any questions? No. Either I did, you didn't understand anything about my talk or I was a, a tremendous speaker. Which one of that? <laughs> okay, if you don't have any other questions, then please be my guest to take some swag here, take the photos, take your NFTs, grab your NFTs, and be happy. Thanks a lot, guys. I will be outside to talk to you.